Hey, this is Carly from Spectre 3D Technologies. Thank you for joining me for this short tutorial where we will show you how to transform your model from Fusion into a stereolithography file, which is commonly known as STL, that can then be 3D printed. For this demonstration, we are going to start by preparing this chair to print. Of course, with any file that you have, you would use the same process. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your model is comprised of just one body or component. If you expand the bodies folder over here in the browser, you will see that there are two separate options here. When you click on body one, the body of the chair highlights, and if you highlight the R patterns down here, the legs of the chair will highlight. This shows you that they are actually two separate entities, and each of these would be converted into their own STL file instead of one solid file. So we can change this by expanding the modify dropdown and selecting combine. Now, for the target body, you're just going to select the chair, and here on the tool bodies, select each of the legs. You want to make sure that your operation is set to join, and then go ahead and click OK. Now, if you go back to the body folder in the browser, and you click on body 1, you'll see that the entire model turns blue. You are now ready to save your file. So, to create your STL file, expand the Make dropdown. And here you'll see the first option is 3D print. Select this and a dialog box appears. Before making a selection, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I've toggled off preview mesh and the send to 3D print utility. I'll likely go over these settings later in a different video, but for now we're going to just make this as easy as possible. Now you can just make your selection. I will click on the chair and you'll see that the whole thing is highlighted blue. On the refinement drop down here, there's a few different options that you can choose from, but for simplicity's sake, in, to make sure that you get a nice print, we're just going to stick with high resolution. So click OK and the Save As dialog box opens. This allows you to browse to the location that you would like to save your file. Mine came up by default to the Documents folder, and this is just fine with me. So I'm going to name my file Chair, and you can see that the Save As type is already set to STL. Just click Save. Now you're ready to send your model to us for printing. I'm just going to open our website, which is www.spectra3d.com, and you will find the form to submit your file under the Contact Us page. Just fill in your name and address. And then under your message, you can ask us any questions that you have or specify things like color, and we'll get back to you with a quote. Finally, browse to the file we created in Fusion. I'm going to click Browse and the dialog box opens automatically to my documents again. Here you'll see the STL file that we created earlier, and I'm going to click on that and select Open. All right, now that all this information is inputted, we can just click Submit and you will receive a notice letting you know that we will get back to you as soon as we can. All right, I hope that you found this STL file tutorial helpful, and we look forward to helping you bring your ideas into the third dimension.